the next session on finite element analysis. In this session, we are going to discuss about the difference between CFD and FEA. Computational fluid dynamics, that is CFD, and finite element analysis, that is FEA, are both numerical simulation techniques used in engineering to analyze and solve complex problems related to fluid flow and structural behavior respectively. When you're talking about CFD, it is essentially related to the fluid flow problems. And when you're talking about FEA, it is about the structural behavior of a material. While they share some similarities, they are distinct methods designed for different types of engineering analysis. Here are the key differences between CFD and FEA. The first one is related to the scope of analysis. For CFD, we will see CFD is primarily used to simulate and analyze fluid flow, heat transfer and related phenomena. It is applied to problems such as air flow over an aircraft wing, water flow in pipes and thermal analysis of electronic components. When we talk about FEA, FEA is employed for structural analysis to predict how structures and components deform and respond to applied loads. It is used for problems such as stress analysis, vibration analysis, and thermal deformation in solid structures. You need to understand that for CFD, there is requirement of a fluid, that is water or air. But when you see FEA, there is no fluid medium involved. So this is one of the difference between the two of them and the scope of both of them. When you talk about FEA, it could be dams, bridges, buildings, and they could be subjected to some kind of load or temperature or vibration. But when you're talking about CFD, these structures will be now affected by some sort of a fluid. For example, the building will be affected by the air surrounding it or the submarine will be subjected to the water surrounding it. The aircraft wing will be subjected to the air flow over it. So this kind of a fluid structure interaction happens in CFD whereas in FEA it doesn't happen. The next is physical phenomena. CFD focuses on fluid dynamics including the study of fluid flow patterns, turbulence, pressure distribution and heat transfer within a fluid. You can read the word fluid again over here. FEA primarily deals with the mechanical behavior of solid structures, including the study of stress, strain, deformation, and natural frequencies of structures. So you can have structural analysis, thermal analysis, or modal analysis, also another word, which will help you determine the natural frequencies of a structure, which you don't want to attain such that the body is safe. For example, if you have a bridge, a foot over bridge, or it could be any other type of a bridge, it will have certain frequency. When a lot of vehicles or people move over it, what happens is the frequency of the bridge is going to change. And it is possible that this frequency will match a particular higher natural frequency of the bridge and the bridge will start resonating. In such cases, it has been found that there has been several accidents of the bridges. They just break down because of such resonance of the material. So these kind of things you can study in FEA but not in CFD. Mathematical models. CFD involves solving the Navier-Stokes equations and other governing equations for fluid flow, heat transfer and mass transfer. CFD basically comes from study of fluid dynamics. If you recollect, it is a part of fluid mechanics wherein you have already studied about navier stokes equation. So that is used in CFD for analyzing various types of flow. FA utilizes the principles of solid mechanics, employing concepts like elasticity, plasticity, and structural dynamics to model and analyze the behavior of structures. So all the theories of elasticity, plasticity, which are there from solid mechanics. So it will have subjects like strength of materials or heat transfer. From there, whatever you have studied, all those concepts can be applied in FEA, but they are applied to materials which are solid or it could be deformable also. Applications. From application point of view also, you will see a difference. CFD widely used in industries such as 
aerospace, automotive, and environmental engineering to analyze fuel flow around objects and within systems. FEA applied in structural engineering, mechanical engineering, and civil engineering to analyze and optimize the design of structures, components, and mechanical systems. So from application point of view, you can see that CFD is mainly applied again when there is fluid flow over any kind of a object. It could be a wing of aeroplane or it could be the car body itself. You can analyze what shape of the car body you want based on the CFD analysis. If you recollect the shape of the car bodies, they were something like a matchbox. It is a shape which will not help foster motion. But these days there are aerodynamic shapes to the cars given such that they can have a lot of speed. Whereas in FEA, you don't discuss all these things. You mainly talk about a static body which is being subjected to some temperature or load or vibration and what is the effect on it. Having said that, you can also do some dynamic analysis in FEA like crash analysis or you can do explicit dynamic analysis, you can do fatigue analysis. So all these things can be done in FEA. So it basically covers static and dynamic both. But in CFD, what you are doing is mainly about the fluid affecting the structure. So you want to know what happens to the structure when it is subjected to a certain fluid velocity. Meshing. CFD involves meshing the computational domain to discretize the fluid volume into small elements for numerical analysis. If you have gone through some CFD analysis, you will know that a particular aerofoil, suppose if it is being analyzed, Therefore, needs to be given a bounding box, which is the domain in which you are going to analyze. It comes basically from the actual wind tunnel testing, in which you test your aeroplanes for the speed and for its stability. So, we are just trying to replicate that wind tunnel with the help of a box and we want to analyze. So, that box and aerofoil is nothing but involved in meshing. When you talk about FEA, it also requires meshing, but it focuses on the solid structures, dividing them into finite elements for analysis. Here we do not create any box around it. We just directly mesh the object that we are talking about and we are going to analyze it. Next comes the difference of solver techniques. CFD involves solving partial differential equations that govern fluid flow using techniques such as finite volume, finite difference or finite element methods. So all these methods are used in CFD. FEA solves systems of linear equations derived from discretization of the structural model. So in FEA, you do not go for all these finite volume methods. What you do is you are going to use simple linear equations which are derived from the discretization of the structured model. You basically use ordinary differential equations in FEA. You do not go for partial differential equations. So that is what the difference is. So let's see what are the takeaways from this session. In summary, while CFD and FEA are both numerical simulation tools used in engineering, CFD is specialized for fluid dynamics and heat transfer problems, while FEA is specialized for structural and solid mechanics analysis. Often engineering projects may require the use of both techniques to capture the coupled interactions between fluid flow and structural response in a system known as fluid structure interaction FSI simulations. Now, this last point is extremely important that having said that we are going to go for the CFD analysis of aerofoil and design it, only designing using CFD will not help. You need to go for other type of analysis on the aerofoil also before modeling and testing and validating and using it in the market. If you don't do it, then you would encounter the case of the famous space shuttle Columbia disaster which had happened in 2003 wherein seven crew members had lost their life. So it was because the aerofoil was designed only using CFD. There was no use of structural or thermal analysis and because of some thermal failure that entire space shuttle, when it re-entered the ambience of Earth, what happened is the entire space shuttle had exploded. These kind of incidences happen only when you do not use a coupled analysis of CFD and FEA. 
so it is also important in certain stages that you go for both analysis the same thing happens with the automobiles as well say cars when you analyze them and you make a beautiful aerodynamic shape you should not forget doing the other fe analysis to know for the other probable failures of the body so with this i end the session i hope you understood the lecture if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates See you in the next session. Thank you.